In 2009, Capcom released Monster Hunter Tri in Japan, and it quickly became a best-selling game. However, as the US and European release dates approached, Capcom had one major desire, to get the Western audience excited about the Monster Hunter franchise. American and European gamers just weren't relating to the franchise. We needed a character that people could connect to, someone larger than life. He needed a rough and rugged voice that personified the attitude and promise of adventure in Monster Hunter Tri. What we needed was a hero. <laughs> That's when Ironbeard was born. Be careful, ladies. One of these things might give you a might nasty punch. Through multiple webisodes, Ironbeard led us through situations that were more familiar to the Western gaming audience. He schooled the audience on what it means to be a real hunter. Well, there's something worth hunting! Then, he took to the streets to talk to everyday people with a spectacular life-size monster head in the bed of his pickup truck. Can you hear me now? Needless to say, he encountered some very confused people. Ironbeard was on Twitter, Facebook, and even had a custom-branded YouTube channel, which cohesively routed back and forth with our main site. Fans were encouraged to sign up and share the video content, and to organically communicate to millions of consumers. Across the globe, Monster Hunter fans rose to the challenge, spreading the gospel of Ironbeard far and wide. Ironbeard's visibility expanded by integrating broadcast, print, and online with the social, viral, and earned media efforts a suite of YouTube behavioral, CPC, banner, and video search products were used to promote and seed each video. Ironbeard even answered gamers' questions and interacted directly with fans on Facebook, Coffee with Games, and Twitter. Fans instantly adored Ironbeard. Positive comments poured in with each new trailer, not only from consumers, but key gaming industry PR outlets like Joystick, G4, and GameTrailers.com as well. Consumers instantly bonded with Ironbeard and praised Capcom for this amazing campaign. This appreciation inspired many to pre-order or plan to pick up the game on launch day. In the end, Monster Hunter Tri topped the US sales charts. But going beyond the numbers, it was clear that this campaign had delivered more than sales. You hear me, you monkey ball bags? We gamers felt rewarded with an entertaining and engaging advertising campaign that took into consideration their dedication to this platform. The strategy to create a voice and face for the franchise turned out to be a monster hit. Ironbeard was now a true icon. In life, they're hunters. And then, they're monster hunters! And then there's wee little babies crying for their mom. <laughs> <laughs>